Welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I showed you how to add your business or company organization details to Xero. In this video, we're going to start looking at the customer side of things, adding customers, and then following on from this video, raising customer invoices and things like that. Now, we have a tab here that's labeled accounts. And what's quite different about Xero is with a lot of software, you just go to this accounts here, you'd click on sales, and then all your customer information would be there. With Xero, you actually have a separate tab called contacts. And this is where you record all your customers and suppliers and look at your customer and supplier records. So let's go to contacts and let's click on customers as we want to add a new customer. Okay, so this is our contact book and you can see that we can add a contact here if there isn't any contacts on Xero, but your best option is just this button in the corner which says add contact. So if we click add contact, we can then add the contact information on this page. Um, so it's quite an extensive record so it can also act as like a contact list instead of just a list of customers you use for invoicing you can actually create a contact list in Xero which is helpful because you won't have to duplicate that work anywhere else so our first contact this is a customer I'll just make something up let's just say Essex accountants You can add an account number if you want. So if you want an account number for each of your customers, then you can do that here. So let's just do 101. And the next one could be 102, 103. But this is optional. You don't have to put an account number in. The primary person you need to contact for this customer. So let's make something up. Let's just put David wood and his email address is david at essexaccountants.com but you can add another person here by clicking this option so you can add another contact and email and a third person so you can create a database in xero of the contacts for your customers so phone number you can put in the country code but you may not need that if all your business is national you won't need to put international country codes in here but let's just put something in here phone number they don't have a fax mobile number a direct dial if they have one skype name if they have one a website if they have one essexaccount.com their postal address and this is all pretty straightforward stuff most of this tutorial is helpful in the sense I show you where to add customers and how to do it rather than how to enter this information you know how to put in a postal address once once you're on the right screen um, so we have attention at the top so attention let's say we always want David Wood to receive the letters or to be headed on the letters 158 six screen if you're not bothered about having an attention to on your invoices though just leave it as blank Essex Road and speed things up I'll just put anything now obviously feel free to pause the video and then start it when you need to 
And just as we had the company details with the postal address and the street address with the same here for our customers, so a postal address and street address, generally they're the same. If not, then enter the actual physical address here. If they are the same, just click same as postal address and it will bring the details down. We have financial details. So once again, we can choose if we want the invoices to this customer to be tax inclusive or tax exclusive or no tax. It might be that you build charities and don't put tax on certain invoices. And then we have other information, VAT codes, a sales discount. If you have a discount to this customer, you can put that here. Default currency, British pound their bank details this is more useful for suppliers rather than customers but it might be helpful if you need to issue refunds or something in future so bills due date so this is your terms so due of the following month or days after the bill date that's generally the most popular so let's put 15 days after the bill date same here and then once we're happy we can click save and then you'll be taken to this confirmation screen Essex accountants has been saved if you need to quickly go back and edit something you can click edit contact here or if we want to add another contact we can just do that here but if we go back to the contact screen so all contacts customers or suppliers you can you'll come to this screen and you can see we have Essex accountants now you'll notice that we have one in all zero in customers and zero in suppliers the reason is when you add a contact to a zero it's actually put down by default as just a contact and then once you invoice this customer or this contact I should say it then becomes a customer and then if you receive an invoice from Essex accountants it will be added into a supplier and that's why we had to put details in for bill terms and also our sales terms because Essex accountants could be a customer and a supplier so how do we edit this contact once we've created it you can simply click here or you can click the box here and click edit it's probably quicker if you just click Essex accountants and will be taken to their record okay so this is their record and I'm going to stop at this point in this video and in the next video I will show you how to edit or amend the details of the record thank you for watching please watch the next video please like please subscribe and i'll speak to you in the next video